Hey everyone, Clint Butler here and welcome to another episode of Marketing Made Easy TV. Today we're going to talk about Google Plus. More specifically, how to take your Google Plus feed or create a Google Plus RSS feed. Now the reason you want to do this is for syndication, you know, kind of spread your message out beyond the Google Plus platform, which is pretty good, but we can always give it a little helping hand to, you know, spread our brand and our message. So let's check it out. How to get your Google Plus RSS feed. All right, so here we are looking at my uh, Google Plus page for Marketing Made Easy TV. The, uh, obviously, this works for pages and profiles, so uh, keep that in mind. The biggest thing you need here is this number right here. So we're going to go ahead and copy that now just in the interest of saving some time from coming back and forth to it. Okay. Uh, so first one we have this site is called gplusrss.com you log in here you click this uh, login via Google Plus you're gonna get on a mailing list when you do this um, so this may not be an option for any for everyone however you can do uh, up to two feeds with this service so you log in and then they have an instructions page uh, log in set your feed up you manage your two free feeds um, you can create a new feed after you create your um, your original so you can do a page and a profile if you want to uh, on this service and then it just goes through step by step and how to do it very very easy there's that number that we copied earlier um, all you gotta do is you know like I said log in it tells you which page you want you create your feed ta-da you're dead fortunately this service is, is free for two feeds but you're limited to only 10 items in there and if you're active on Google Plus 10 items is just not going to be enough and then you can go up on their pay scale to, to get more um, more feeds and more items within each of your feeds if you want to so that's an option personally I like free where available <laughs> So that takes us to g plus to rss dot appspot dot com. Similar thing. There's that number we talked about. You just copy, paste, bam, and there's my RSS feed. Not too bad, right? That was simple. It was easy, uh, and it was free. And there's a lot of data in there. It pulls out a lot of. Um, a lot of your posts it's not limited like this other one was for pay and you just copy paste that and then there you go you have your feed now obviously if the service dies one day and then you lose uh, that feed so it's good to check every once in a while make sure it's still working and here's another one this one's called plusfeed dot f r o s a s dot net um, much like the other one just put your number in there get the feed uh, and then you get that golly gee. I think this one let's try another one let's try a good one for my profile let's do that this one was working the other day and that is the problem with these sites uh, the API changes so much that eventually you know something is going to break and now my browser is free there you go Jeez. I'm going to copy this part with my username. Go back here. Delete that. Paste that. Get the feed. There we go. Okay, so it works obviously better with the username than it does with the number. Uh, and clearly better with profiles versus pages. Let's try it one more time with a page. Um, because I want to make sure that we can use this consistently. Here's another page that I have. I'm going to go to my 
Google Plus page. There's my number. Copy. Paste. Get the feed. Yeah, okay, so just profiles. So this one is just uh, good for profiles. There, as you can see, that one did that one did pretty good uh, for profiles, not so much for pages. This one you can actually, if you want to, you can click down here and get the source code and put it up on your own website if you're uh, good with that kind of stuff. Um, or you can just use this uh, right here. Um, but so you know, it's profiles. This one's profiles and pages. Just to verify because we want to be thorough. Copy. Paste. And there's the profile. So not too bad. Okay, so uh, I'll give you these links again, but g plus two dot hyphen two hyphen rss dot aswat dot com is profiles and pages plus feed dot frosis dot net is profiles and g plus dot rss dot com is profiles and pages however it's a paid solution so those three options for you i hope that helps you get your google rss feed